All right, looking at example number three. ABC Fitness Club charges a flat fee of $25 per month plus $5 per visit. The Zone Club charges a flat fee of $35 per month plus $3 per visit. For how many visits per month is the total cost the same for both fitness clubs? So, we can graph this, folks. We can create a table of values, or we can find a bunch of equations. So, we're going to look at uh, uh, different combinations of the following. Again, we're using grade 9 skills right now until we've learned a better method. So, looking at the first part, we're going to actually have to represent our variables. When we start off with words, we want to literally, when we're reading words, we want to start off with some sort of words. In this case, we need to let x represent something. Well, the main variable that's changing here is the visit. How many visits are you making per month? That we don't know. So let x represent the number of visits per month. What is y going to be? Well, what else we don't know is depending on the number of visits, what our monthly cost is. So we let y represent the cost per month in dollar value. Now, Let's look at the first one. It says $25 per month. So ABC starts off at $25 per month and it increased the charge by $5 per month. So if I continue the dots here going up $5 per month, I will get to the end of my grid. We draw our line and that is the line of ABC Fitness Club. So we'll write that right on here. Well, we'll write that on the line in a little while. All right. Moving forwards. We also know that we could represent ABC in an equation. Why? Well, we know that the monthly charge is Y, and that equals 25 plus 5X, 5 being the $5 charge per time that you use it per month, and that's what the X is. All right, and we have the zone club, which is the equation Y equals $35 plus 3X. So now we want to graph it. So starting at 35, we will plot it to the best of our ability. Eventually, you'll get to this point right here, which is the most important key crucial point. We draw our line, and we notice that the two lines do intersect at a conveniently easy point, or very, very easily red point. Well, how does that help us? Well, let's look at the table of values to compare. When I look at ABC, I get the value if I go no times in the month, I get $25. I go once a month, I get I have to pay $30. And so on right up until six times a month, you're paying $55. All right, what about the zone? How does the zone compare? Well, the zone, you start off with $35, and then you move upwards of $3 per visit up until the point that you reach at 6, and we get the value of 53 well, how does that help us? Well, if we look at the value for 5, we'll notice that both of these values are the same. So therefore, since they're both the same, we can make a conclusion. This is our point of intersection, so at 5 visits, both clubs will cost the same. So if you plan on visiting a club, the five, either of these clubs, 5 times in a month or less, your best bet is to consider the blue club because they're cheaper. The purple club is cheaper when it's past five points. Don't forget we want to label some axes here, folks, so that's going to be important. And also, we're going to change this question just a little bit. What happens if a question says, if you typically go to the gym eight times per month, which uh, membership should you get? Well, we want to consider the membership that's going to cost us less money. Notice that after 6 on both tables, um, the values change. Before 6, before 5 in the table, the blue values were cheaper than the purple. But as soon as the fit, uh, value of 5 came along, this, the exact same value, it switched roles. What you see now is that the purple roll is cheaper after 5 visits, and the blue one is a little more expensive. So, with zone and ABC... And don't forget, you need to label the axes to make sure the axes have labels. Otherwise, no one can figure out what you're actually looking at. And we can say the following, make the following conclusion. Since the blue line is less than the blue, uh, sorry, the purple line is less than the blue line, 
after five visits, we can say that zone is cheaper with eight visits. And you could have also looked at the equation to be able to get you the same problem. All right, that's the end of the lesson, folks. Time for the homework. Here's your homework. Don't forget to omit the following questions. That means do not do. You're going to omit 4, 5, 6, 10, 14, 15, 16. All right, folks, see you on the side. Have a numerical day. Take care.